I'm a little bit of a complex guy. I hate BRs, but I love BRs. It's an odd relationship of a true gamer warrior such as myself. <laughs> the BR genre has skyrocketed to the point of watered down garbage. Holy shit, what a fucking disappointment. It used to be pretty good when it first came out. <laughs> yeah, you like it? But through many short bringings of BRs, there's usually a diamond in the rough. Death by snowball. Just when you assume there's going to be a beautifully crafted game that is looting third or first person camera and shooting some guns or whacking dudes over the head with a crowbar, oh. you, just got you become painfully disappointed. In case I'm going over your head here, BR stands for Battle Royale. Yes, Royale, not Royal. There's an E at the end. If you're missing the E, it ain't it. Battle Royales mainly consist of five things. Spawning in, grabbing loot, killing enemies, avoiding the outer circle, dying or winning. Some games do it right. Cha cha, real smooth. So go to work. And some games fuck it up beyond all repair. And it's gone! And you fucking ruined it! God damn! So what point am I getting at? Simply put, BRs are shit, they're bad, and most of them are unoriginal. And I can prove it as well. Let's go back to what everybody can confirm is a BR. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Let's, for the sake of argument, assume this is the first one. It's not. Let's, let me make that very clear. It is not the first one. But for the sake of the video, let's say that it is. PUBG, you're in a plane, you drop out, you grab gear, you shoot, you run, you die. That's it. Let's compare it to Fortnite, which is very shamelessly a copy of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Drop in, grab gear, dance, and then die. Ring of Elysium. Drop in, grab gear, snowboard, then die. A little bit before that, Islands of Nine. Drop in, grab gear, look at your cool guns, then die. A little bit before that, Realm Royale. It says right here, diagnosis, fractured ass. All these games are basically the exact same, but with a different engine. And even then, they're still all running on Unreal 4 at some point. Here's a couple BRs that actually do have a unique setting, a unique theme, and it's a BR. The culling. You spawn in, in a drop pod. You don't fall in, you don't call in from some other different fucking plane or helicopter. You spawn in, in a predetermined area. You loot buildings, you acquire funk, and then you use nothing but primitive combat such as bows and melee weapons. You earn enough game currency to purchase better weapons than what you had. On top of that, you can place traps, shoot bow guns, call down airdrops, block, shove, gas someone, take parts in events, get called noobed by the announcer, and beat the ever-loving FUNK out of somebody! Gotcha, bitch! The culling is a BR. Yes. This is undeniable. But it was before even H1Z1 or PUBG. And it's back and it's fun! Without shilling or trying to advertise for the game that I love so much. It's an unarguable fact that the culling is unique, fun for many people, free, it even comes with perks that change the gameplay entirely, it has airdrops that can be called in from different locations that can be stolen from other people. Yes, there's firearms in the culling, but they're countered extremely well. The game is thought out. The game is revolved entirely around the melee system. Guns come second best. The culling is a fantastic BR. It was one of the original ones that was built from the ground up. It's incredibly fun, and it's free. Let me make that very clear to some of those that were watching their little tournament that happened a couple weeks ago. The culling is free to play. It is fun. It is amazing. And it doesn't cost you a dime. There's also another BR that is incredibly unique. The Darwin Project. The Darwin Project, you start off in a little room like everybody else. You can talk to everybody in other games, but this one's got a little bit of a gimmick to it. Director. The director spectates your games, could be streaming, and can give you favors based on how you interact with them. Sadly, these favors are fucking busted. You spawn in, you cut down trees that you can use for crafting of different types of things. You can harvest leather from chairs or, or animals. You can craft arrows, craft a fire to warm yourself up because there's no gas in this. It's a storm. If you get too cold, you're dead. There's no coming back from that. You need to be able to, to heat yourself up when you can. You can use that leather and wood to craft cold-proof gear, fight someone with tense melee and bow primitive combat that requires you to actually think about what you're doing rather than just keep firing arrows till either of you are out or dead. If you hit somebody as they're hitting you, you're both gonna clash, so you're eventually gonna run into the both of you using arrows. And if you're brave enough, you could smack somebody's arrows out of the freaking air. Death by Ooh, snowball! 
The Darwin Project is not my cup of tea, but it is free. It's also fun, and it's easy to run. It's probably going to be a lot more fun than anything you'll find on Steam for 60 fucking dollars. Before you buy a BR game, just try to remember a couple of things. What makes it unique? What makes it fun? And will it be alive and playable when the next BR even comes out?